You guys will remember my 3D embellishment drawers from my organizing the nail studio video. Well, this one was a hot mess. It actually looks like it might be a, like kind of organized into those little bins, but in all honesty, because those bins are not cohesive, they were driving me pretty crazy. So I decided to get these black bins here. These are actually from Canada Nail Supplies. I've had them for a while and I've been meaning to do this project for well over a year. I enlisted Ivory from Gel Nails by Ivory again to help me with this project that same day that we did the glitter organizing as well and we are going to organize and purge all of these 3d embellishments out of these existing containers into the black ones let's get started our first step is to lay everything out so that we can sort through it into these little containers here now 3d embellishments are not super popular with my clients anymore so i did do a complete overhaul and purge of these and just kept some of my favorites I love these things. Have you ever used them? Yep. I use them for people did for vacation they nails. Did to file, or I guess you did. Yeah, they did. Did they? Mm-hmm. And like these little stones. Oh, I love those. Those are cute. I like that little guy. I was so excited when I found them again. Like, so excited. These embellishments are from a company called Athena Rocks, but I'm honestly not sure if they're still available. I actually misplaced all of these when I moved from my nail studio to my last home. And when I was moving into this home and packing everything up, I found them again. So I was so, so excited because I thought these were a goner and gone forever and they're fabulous for vacation nails. These I probably can keep in these things actually. Cause then this limits me what how many that? I'm keeping them. They're like ice cream sandwiches. Oh. <laughs> Those would be cute for a Valentine's Day Right? Set. Yeah, they really would. And like these pink flowers. I don't know if I'll ever use them, but I'm keeping them. Like those are pretty. Actually, those are kind of cute. Right? You could totally use those for like a Hawaiian set or something. Mm -hmm. This is like a hard thing for me to purge ivory. You just have to like do it. I don't use them. I've been in this studio for a year. So that's the thing. If you don't use them, then don't right? keep like, them. Right? Like, exactly. I'm just going to keep popular colors like black, white, pink, purple. These ones are kind of cool. The, these ones I think you would get use out of like the Hawaiian type. For the flowers? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Was that just shells? Like, yeah. Just, just, just leave it. Shells. Just don't even look at it. You're not? <laughs> just don't. Kidding. Cleaners gonna be like, what the F? Oh no, she's seen probably too much, so. But these like sets that you can buy of bows, like these, these are nice. Do you have any clients that would use that? Mm, not really anymore. But it's nice if you just wanna do like a, I don't know what to do with ivory. But if I was gonna keep any, it'd be these two. So I'll keep those. Okay, then I can get rid of all of these. I'm gonna keep some of these pink ones. Oh, you don't have enough pink ones in here? Nope. They're a different kind of bow though. Yeah, they're a little bit bigger. So these small ones you actually were... only have two pink bows. Okay, so I better I better keep them. Oh you have to keep these. What are they? The little silhouette cameo things. Oh yes. The mustaches. Mm. <gasps> okay, this whole Kay. thing can go. Should I'm I keep any house for these? Anything, but I want two of these, okay? The Barbies? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, because for sure. Sherry wants another Barbie set. I think I did a Barbie set on her one time. I've done a Barbie set on her too. Yeah, like if you if you do any sort of kawaii nails, these things are like yeah. you need them these type of things. But do I keep any of the Hello Kitties? They're just so big. Yeah. Okay, this whole thing is going. Did you take some Barbies? No, not yet. Um, I feel like I have more Barbies too. There's Barbie shoes too. Mm-hmm. You want some of those? Yes, please. Okay. Cool. Do you want red shoes? Yeah, I'll give you some red shoes too. <laughs> but she was like one of my favorite clients because she would like do all that random stuff, right? Mm-hmm. I like the cherries. I used to have a client who would get 3D embellishments on every single nail, no joke. Sometimes she would even get two or three nails covered in these 3D embellishments. So that's why I brought a lot of these in for her. And this was like years ago. Um, I'm gonna insert some pictures of her nails here and don't judge the shaping too much. Yeah, like I agree, they're not the best. Anyway, 
I just am not using these on my current clientele, but it's so hard for me to get rid of them because I think some of these things are so cute and you know, maybe someday I'll use them. And if you guys are wondering what I did with purging them, I gave a lot of these away. Some of them I did end up selling, but for like super, super reduced prices. And a lot of them I did hang on to, which you guys will see at the end here. But even though I'm keeping a few of each of the individual collections here, like a couple mustaches, a couple Barbie shoes, I just didn't feel like I needed like 30 of each one of these, but there's still so many cute ones. And if, I bought these years ago, but if I can find any links to any of these embellishments, I'll be sure to list them in the description box. I like the sunglasses though. For vacation They're girls. fun, yeah. But they, these are just so massive, right? If you do a quick Pinterest search or a quick Google search on kawaii nails, you can find a lot of ideas on how to use some of these 3D embellishments. That's what I used to do back in the day and there's actually some really cute designs out there that you can do with all these sort of embellishments. I just find generally a lot of these are really big for most people's nail plates and a lot of my clients don't have super long nails so it's kind of hard to use the bigger ones but I definitely hung on to a lot of the smaller embellishments. I just don't think I'll use these giant bows. Like, they're so big. They're, like, way too ugly. Way too everything. Way too everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one I'm torn about. Because they're not crystal. But they're still really pretty. They are pretty. I think I'm keeping these. Yeah. At least the hearts. Like, I think I could get rid of the other, the weird I'm ones. I keep the teardrops, too. Yeah? You could make some fun. Actually, they'd be good for um, Christmas lights. Ooh, yeah. But they are really sparkly, like I don't feel like they're super cheesy. I found that these really small containers that came in that Canada Nail Supplies display case were the perfect size for just hanging on to a few different embellishments. I also really like that at the end, these containers are just going to be super easy to pull out of my drawers and show my clients what sort of embellishments that they can get. When I was pregnant with Violet, I was in super purge mode, so I got rid of so much stuff in my nail studio and my house. And now that I'm watching this video back, I'm actually kicking myself for getting rid of these because they're going to be perfect for Christmas light nails. Look at these. Fun. Aren't they? On a stiletto nail, like I bought them for my um, engagement and like wedding nails. Yeah, they're from Daily Charm. These are like massive, but they're so pretty. They are pretty but there's smaller ones in here. I'll keep the smaller ones. These ones are like the perfect size though. Like these are really nice. You don't think they're too high though? No. Nope. When you so surround them with crystals. I try to, I'll go and take my e-file and like groove them out so then they fit on the. Oh, that's smart. That's a really good idea. These, I just think these are way too big. Am I wrong? Like, I don't know. I guess you can make them work depending on the client. If using 3D embellishments is something that you're wanting to bring into your nail studio, I would suggest starting with some flowers or some bows. Out of everything that I brought in and everything that I used on my clients, flowers and bows were definitely hands down the most popular. And I really like the little sets of rainbow type of bows or rainbow flowers that you can get because then you can pair them with a whole bunch of different nail designs. I was kind of trying to decide if I should keep those, some of them. They'd be cool. Um, heard with like if you did like some of that um, social clause chrome. Oh yeah, that's good cool. call. Yeah, I don't know what, what it reminds me of. You can take like any other 3D stuff you want, mm -hmm. just to let you know. Like, if there's anything that you want to put in a little dish, feel free. These are right up my alley, just the colors. I really love them. <clears throat> these, oh yeah. Put these on every single one of my nail suits. <laughs> Oh she like loved those the client that I had loved those like Are anything that like kidding? no like anything that like hung off of her nails like stuck off the sides mm -hmm. or anything she just loved it oh so from a creative standpoint like it was really fun to do her nails right even like could you imagine editing your picture like that again no like look, having look this at this order and all those things like look at these nails 
and like they weren't meant to be like duck feet nails. Like that's just how oh, I, I shaped. Know. That's I have. I but like, look at the like little purse. Too. Like you could, I wish you could just really have fun with them. But even yeah, like the crazy borders and stuff. Like the color is like so <laughs> off. Oh, like they're wider than her I nail. Know. But she liked them like that. Like she'd prefer if they were. These were actually one of my favorites. I actually really liked these. Those are cute. Actually. They're like so ridiculous, but I loved them. These metal embellishments are some of my favorite to use on clients even to this day, especially if you're gonna surround them with a bunch of Swarovski crystals, they can add just a little pop. You guys know that I love to do theme nails too, so sometimes you can find some really fun themed 3D metal embellishments that just tie a look together. These were serious, like everything we're doing today is things that have been on my list since I moved in. Ivory was such a big help with this entire project and she took it upon herself to categorize and organize all of the embellishments once we had decided which ones I was keeping. She's going to tell you a little bit about how she organized it because it was right up my alley. Starting with just all like the plastic embellishments and then just moving into the like metal like studs and all that sort of thing. So I just started with the flowers and of course I'm kind of going in rainbow order. Oh. But my rainbow order is a little different than your rainbow order. So don't... Oh, I'm not being picky here. Be picky. I just appreciate you. But you know how when you do when you put a color in, like say you're doing your light elegance, and then you're like, oh crap, this color goes there. Oh yeah. That's what's happening to me right now. Don't be picky. Can just... I put the shoes in together with the other shoes? Yep. You're gonna have metal on this one. You're okay. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna do the studs next. Ivory and I were so excited. We had completed this 3D embellishment project, which actually took quite a long time. Ivory put them away, and then I found a bag of nail art stuff that needed to be sorted. It was full of a whole bunch of stuff that I had actually moved from my studio that was outside of my home before I moved home in my last house, and we're gonna go through that now. I kinda just wanna, I don't really know what's all in oh, here. These are beautiful. Those are pretty. Like, these all need to go in my deco binder, which we're not gonna do today, but. Are those I, cute? You bought those at a shop after the CNTC, right? Yeah. I remember you posting about They've those. They've been here ever since. So these were the flowers I got at the CNTC. Yeah, I have all those. And they're just like the perfect size. I actually think I might have got rid of all mine. Hey, babe. Did she go to sleep finally? Why don't you tell Steve what you did? I'm not going to. <laughs> Poor Ivory. Ivory's never coming back here again. Yeah. What did she say? Ivory's like, tell Steve what you did. Tell him. <laughs> we sorted through every, well, Ivory sorted through everything. And uh, then I was like, you're gonna hate me. She's like, why? I'm like, I got more. I had like put them all away, organized them all. <laughs> now she's like, oh yeah, we have more. <laughs> Actually, I want to win square. Can did she go to sleep, sorry? She did in fact come back and she has forgiven me for this incident. <laughs> but in all honesty, it was kind of cool to go through a lot of these other embellishments that I completely forgot I even had. Oh my gosh, how bad is that? Uh, we've definitely narrowed things down to things that I think that I'm gonna use and the drawer turned out fabulous. I'm so happy with it. I'm so glad that it is a lot of items that I really like and definitely think my clients would gravitate towards. I also love these storage containers because I can easily pull them out of my drawer and show my clients what embellishment options they have. On the right hand side of this drawer, I just keep those Athena Rocks embellishments as well as some other ones that came in different storage container sizes and some little silicone molds that you can use to make your own embellishments. But overall, I'm so happy with how this came together. Another huge thank you to Ivory. She might just have to be like my organization assistant. I don't know, what do you guys think? Cause I always have organization projects in the nail studio. Make sure you're following me on all of my social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.